What is up YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Factory Town and we're going straight in to fixing something that blew my mind. On, on the screen you can see one of the subs made a few comments actually so thank you very much for that but the biggest one that actually blew my mind literally was the fact that the liquid pipes move well liquids and I know that sounds ridiculous um, but I've only ever thought they were for water they're not. So any of the products that are liquid i.e. the milk or the juices which I am creating you can use pipes look that there them them yeah that my face just fell off the chair anyway so it also means as per the comment that you don't have to clutter your pipes with said items so I am of course immediately going to get the milk to be delivered by liquid pipe as well as the berry juice to be delivered by liquid pipe reducing the amount of strain on the belts though at the minute they're looking a bit lapsed but that's because the resources that I'm producing aren't keeping up for demand with that said we are going to be very close to ripping this down and rebuilding it again in a much better hopefully more economical ergonomical no not ergonomical way so yeah the user name on the screen again thank you very much for your comment and yes all of your uh, ideas will be put forward moving forward and lastly just before we actually get into the game a little tip for you guys you may not be interested in all the games on my channel but there is a game currently that is the majority of the channel that is oxygen not included the latest episode um, is actually a competition run at the minute where you can win a $25 voucher for Steam to buy any game of your choice and I think that is quite a significant amount of money especially with early access there's a lot of things you can do with that so for any of you that's watching this right now if you fancy a chance to win that jump over to that episode uh, unfortunately you will have to find the name out which is probably in the comments all you have to do is write the special word in the comments of that video episode 26 and like the video and you will be in the raffle to win the voucher. Good luck on that. Of course, it, you don't have to buy that game, so you can buy this game or many other games, but it's $25, which is significant for Steam because there is a lot of cheap games on here. Okay, so back to the game at hand, and the idea now is to increase productivity wherever it is lacking, which is quite a lot of places, actually. Uh, also trying to figure out pathways for various different items so you can see here I am trying to connect the what they called wooden planks yes try to join them onto this belt to get some in storage because of course you need some in your main town center warehouse in order to actually use for building and that goes with everything as well including like your um, fertilizer and things like that so to get those in, I'm just going to chuck in a quite a bit of a spaghetti here, but as long as it works, it doesn't matter. Of course, I will have to tell or put a splitter on the bottom to make it so it will, of course, send some up this ramp because by default it will just follow the track, which is going to the other belt and not up the ramp. And we've got some running now. So the idea is we've got the liquid pipes coming out of there directly everything else is going into the other building to make the belt so I do need to increase the workers on that uh, but the reason I'm obviously getting a load of pipes now the liquid pipes and as you can see in the top we have 23 and counting I'm going to be using these now for a lot of other things including the liquids as we've mentioned at the beginning of the episode so I need to make sure I've got a lot of them in stock in order to do that because if I'm going to or when sorry I'm going to rebuild all of this infrastructure I'm obviously going to be having the farms on the very far outsides of the settlement they'll then flow into the mills or the kitchens etc and that will then flow into the main city or town where the general store and the food stores will be so they're likely to be a quite a large distance between where the products are being made and where they're being consumed and that's by design because there is a lot of stuff you can make and the raw resources actually I've realized as well are all required so 
even if you're the cotton on the screen now that's going to then be turned into cloth which is then going to be turned into cloth belts the actual populace the people live in there want the cotton they also want the cloth they also want the shirts etc uh, etc et the chickens are perfect example as well they want raw chicken as well as cooked chicken as well as the chicken sandwiches that i am making so all of them things add up now you don't have to provide them all of course and efficiency would say that you will give them the highest productivity on the items um, but it's nice to especially if you've got a surplus of something and they want it then get one coin for it because why not as opposed to it just being stuck on a belt waiting to be used for something else so for the pastures to pull out enough resources, whatever that may be, uh, milk is one of the different, more difficult ones, but chicken also, you need to give them animal feed. And you need to give them a lot of animal feed. I have two lines of animal feed coming in, but they're not really being distribu distributed very well. So out of the three pastures I have, the first one or two was getting a reasonable amount. But the last one didn't seem to, but yet I had a belt backing up with animal feed. So I'm currently trying to... Well, you can see, I'm making the first line do all of them. And then the idea is the second line will be a backup. Now, I'm putting it into the second one there, but that's incorrect. I don't want that. So I will change that in a second. Effectively, the first line is going to do the first two. The last line will do the third one though that on there will yeah that's it we see how that goes i need to delete that export though because it's stealing the reinforced planks out of that silo which i do not want that looks better for now obviously the last one is the milk you can see the chicken one's working fine plenty of chicken more chicken than we need which is why there's so much raw chicken on that belt the second belt that's empty is where the milk used to be, but of course, we're now doing that through liquid pipes. Um, but you do need a lot of, I think it's four animal feed per milk, something crazy like that. And then cheese, to make the cheese, you need, I think it's five milk and one cloth to make one cheese. So the whole process from milk, sorry, animal feed to milk to cheese is quite costly. And you may, or I would suggest you may find that you need more than one farm and maybe even more than one pasture to get a decent amount of that as a solution anyway. Still very small our footprint, which will change soon. Uh, I am obviously recording these and then doing the voiceovers after the fact. Um, and I have extended it quite significantly now with a bit more efficiency hopefully involved the extensions of buying all the maps by the the, the squares by the way um, is there any negative to just buying them all because to be honest they're only 500 each and it, it'll probably cost what 4,000 to just uncover the entire map it's nothing so I feel like I'm just gonna buy every single tile because the normally with these sort of games the outer tiles will be then 2000 and the outside tiles will be 10,000 etc but they're not every single tile is 500 and that way you know exactly where everything is on the map so you can set up your map or your base to go out to them especially if you've got some gold uh, iron coal etc in certain places you can then set up that as a proper function as, as opposed to just putting things down willy-nilly because you don't actually know what's on the next tile over. So the first forest I built, forestry, sorry, I built uh, earlier on, you can see is actually starting to struggle now. So the belt or the, the shoot that's coming out of it isn't full full. It's getting to the point now where it is actually struggling now i can increase its efficiency and i did by putting down some of the tree planters but they are quite expensive it, they work exactly the same as the farming fields that you put on the crops now over here um i am gonna flatten the land again it's not 
extortionate to do. It uses the red coins. And at the minute, I'm not really using them for anything other than flat in the ground. Yes, I could go up and down the terrain and um, handle it that way. But I am still using shoots quite a lot. And they don't go up and down. They can only go flat or down. So I am going to flatten all of this to save having to worry about that. It's cost a couple of thousand red coins. But again... I'm not using them for hotels at the minute, so why not? We will use them in the future for boosts and stuff, but for now, we're okay. And this is where I want to start pushing out the farms and likely fields, uh, pastures, etc. To start using a lot more space up, but also managing the resources better. So instead of having one farm for a resource, you have two or more, uh, depending on what you need. Now, an example for that is the grain the grain farms into animal food seems to be pretty decent, but the grain farms into flour and then into bread is quite poor. So for a bread production or a decent bread production, you're likely going to need three, two or three grain farms and at least two food mills to process the flour quick enough. Okay, so stage one is actually just chucking more farms behind the ones I already have. I have cleaned up the the pipes, the the belts, um, because personally I, it's easier just to rip them up because you get the resources back anyway and then just chuck them down from scratch. Yes, nobody's making, uh, or oh, I'm not making money while I'm doing this. But nobody's going to die either, so it's fine. And it doesn't take very long, right? You, you kind of know what I'm going to do before I do it. Or I do anyway. I had a plan. Um, and the idea is to get a few more farms in, get a few more pastures in, to get a few more of the original foods and stuff out. Especially knowing now that I can use pipes for liquids. It's a bit of a game changer. Now, the awkward thing is you need to get a farm to go into a pasture to give you fertilizer to then go back to the farms now you don't have to of course the farms run without the fertilizer i'm not sure if they run without the water i think they do but but it's quite easy to be honest and when you're doing milk anyway obviously milk gives fertilizer as well so it's a free byproduct of, of making milk because of course cows crap a lot so yeah so just putting some farms in now I need to of course delete all of these so I can put them over on that farm because I'm not using this one just yet and again whatever you delete you get the resources back so there's no problem with moving things and that's what I meant by just ripping it all down and then rebuilding the belts and stuff in afterwards the only thing you won't get back are the resources on the belts or pipes that you do destroy as far as I'm aware you don't get them even if you use the pick up resource tool it doesn't actually go into my inventory that I've seen okay so with some shoots and shoots that are going out over the water but as long as it stays level it doesn't matter it will build the scaffolding for you obviously it just costs resources but that's fine you can see what the plan is here so we have two grain farms or wheat farms one per food mill and then the food mills will push out what we need them to we just need to make sure the efficiency on these grain farms is at its absolute maximum. So we do want them to have water, we do want them to have manure, we or fertilizer, and we do want them to have the gold coin boosters as well. So this is for the flower, right? That one's flower, but obviously I'm already stuck. Is that flower? No, that's animal feed. Animal feed and flower. I've got to figure out how I get these around. I've got to get two shoots out and I haven't really left enough room it seems so move the buildings back one block and there we go we now have easily two shoot trains one for animal feed one for the flower now the animal feed obviously is I think it's one to one it might be two to one it says the flower is three to one which is quite expensive 
And I'm not sure how much flour you need to make bread yet. But we'll just take that straight into the first kitchen. And again, one of the other tips that was mentioned by the sub was that you use multiple buildings of the same to do it. So instead of having a kitchen, just do everything and then make the final product. You make the, the, the products in the first kitchen and then the products go into another kitchen to make the final product. Because of course the kitchens only have so much work available. Regardless of how fast you make them, if they're doing everything, they're gonna be much slower. So having two stages or three stages of kitchens to then process the goods should significantly increase your overall outcome. So you can see there, we've got loads of flour going in. This needs now heat or fuel, cooking fuel. And then that will immediately output those completed items into the final kitchen. And the final kitchen should be the one that makes the sandwiches in theory. Got some fuel coming in over there from the right hand side, just a small patch of coal that's manual for now, but it is working. And you can see line one of three from that kitchen is now producing fresh bread we now need to get in chicken which shouldn't be too difficult because of course the pastures are right next to it and of course milk which is through a liquid pipe so we don't even need a belt for that and as soon as the pastures start getting full of animal feed we should have the very basics of the cheese chicken sandwiches once again and yes, there is two cow pastures uh, to try and increase that milk output because we know that that's been the biggest gate for us so far. And then just a belt directly from the chicken farm to bring the chicken into the kitchen. And now we've got both of the farms running we can see that the animal feed is coming out too which will of course increase the efficiency and speed of all of the animals producing so we have the first pasture fertilizing the first farm and then the second one over there doing the second for now that should be enough chickens coming out reasonably decent speed but obviously there is room for improvement you can see the how slow the actual animal feed is going in if it even gets there because now I've just increased the speed of the fertilizer now it's just eating all the food which you could argue is a negative but actually it's a lot faster than the farm needs so once the farms have finished fertilizing all of their fields it will then stop taking that because obviously they'll be stocked up with a maximum of 10 and then it will pass and go to the actual pastures where the animals are here you can see we are now have the raw chicken going into cooked chicken so we have the bread and the chicken all we need now is cheese now we have the milk we just need this cloth and with that belted in I guess is the way of saying it you can now see a large amount of cloth coming over as soon as that cloth goes into the kitchen, we should start seeing cheese. Now, the cloth looks good in terms of production, uh, but you need five milk per one of them cloths. So, actually, it's um, going to be quite expensive. But you can see there, there is cheese being made now. And every time they go in, it will take the bread and the chicken. Because, of course, we are now producing cheese Chicken cheese sandwiches again. This is a weird one. Not cheeseburgers, but yeah. And just bringing over the berries as well to give us our berry juice once more. Again, no export for that because it is a liquid. This upgrade seems to be certainly a better or more efficient at making the produce. We obviously need to get this now over to a food store. The liquids are easy but we still need to do the whole belt system for everything else. And I said food store, it's actually the tavern to sell the sandwiches. They're uh, high-end food. I think it's classed as gourmet food. And gourmet food has to be sold at a tavern, which is that building there on the right with the red roof. Ripping out a lot of these old, unused belts now. Again, getting all of them resources back, but more importantly, the paths that go to them 
Um, although they do connect them to the infrastructure of the settlement, I'm not aware that it makes that much difference. Unless you want to do the speciality, which you need certain buildings connected to do so. I'm not doing the farming one. So actually, that will give us four more tiles for crop. And therefore, I would imagine a very mild amount, but still more efficiency. The kitchen now, the second kitchen, is obviously clogged up with all of its resources, you can see. So we'll just quickly throw in some belts to get these items out. And for now, we'll just take a belt straight over to the tavern and de deliver directly into it. Because why not? This is stage one, by the way, of the rebuild. Stage two, which I'm currently working on in, in the real world, um, is much, much larger. And there we go. With that belt up and running, you can now see the chicken cheesy sandwiches are going in and the pipe there showing that the juices are going in. So once again, the settlement has drink and food as prepared with a much more efficient process working there as well. Of course, we want to increase this even more so to get the raw resources uh, spare as well. You can see the cheese is struggling as I expected it would. But that's something that we can look at in the future. For now, though, we are at time, so I am going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please click like. It helps me get more viewers, of course. Subscribe to see what happens next. Take care. Goodbye.